Employment rate continues to climb. We're getting some insight on some of the jobs that are hit the hardest and why there could be some good news on the horizon. Jeff Slauson with the 19 Data Journalism team is here. And Jeff, you spoke to some experts about this matter. Yeah, the key here is going to be seasonal jobs. Seasonal jobs, obviously, depending on what it looks like outside and how people are feeling. And the thing is, with those seasonal jobs, that has affected our recent job report. So obviously, if the next quote unquote season of them improves, so will the report as well. Let's start here with just the unemployment numbers and then go into specifically why it's getting to this point. 4% unemployment rate, that's what we're seeing right now in the state of Ohio. 3.4% inflation. Now, I spoke to experts from Policy Matters Ohio earlier today, and they said inflation is playing a massive role into the 4% unemployment rate. In fact, that is the highest unemployment rate that we have seen since 2022 just out of the pandemic, just when we were starting to see more businesses opening here in the state of Ohio. Just in the last year, four out of 12 months saw more lost jobs than gained jobs. And while that's not necessarily a massive deal because you saw eight of those months seeing significant process, progress, that is more than what we've seen over the past few years. So again, a troubling trend as far as that goes. So what jobs were seeing the most decreases? Goods jobs, we're down 3,300. What do we mean by that? Well, it breaks down essentially into two. Construction lost 7,600 jobs, while manufacturing gained 4,300. So why such a discrepancy in this? Well, a large part of that is due to the number we saw earlier, inflation. Inflation is causing goods and services to become so expensive. Think of things like steel. Let's say that you're trying to build a house. Think of lumber. Think of all the things associated with it. So construction jobs aren't necessarily happening as much because people aren't building things as much. So in the last quarter, in the last month, we did not see as many of those jobs being filled. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they won't come back. While we still do have a, a pretty solid number of jobs, we're not gaining the way that, that we were. Um, I don't think we're dealing with a really hot labor market. I think we're dealing with one that's still kind of doing okay but it's something to, to watch for sure. All right, so let's go to the positives now and is why this isn't necessarily as bad as it all seems here. Seasonal jobs can vary. So let's say that we have some lower months for inflation. Those construction jobs may return. Think of gardeners. Think of people that are outside during the summer months. Think of the departments that are working outside to fix things like potholes for the Department of Transportation. Those areas will be seeing much more for workers. 4%, well, yes, that is more than we've seen since 2022. It's still significantly lower than the times we saw in the pandemic. And that's what brings us to the last point here. We have still more jobs available right now than we did pre-pandemic, which is showing growth. However, you would hope that it'd be a little higher than where it is now.